My name is Christian Benvenuto. This is my speaking outline. And this is my audience. The item I'm speaking about today is used by millions of people all around the world. Throughout history, it has evolved to become one of the most vital things in our lives. The item I'm talking about is a personal computer. Most people can operate this, this machine, and it is vital to every student, business person, and your everyday regular people. The item has numerous uses, like communicating important messages all around the world. Back in the day, the Army had one of the first computers as a giant, it was a giant computer, and now today, people are able to carry around laptops uh, anywhere they want to. But throughout history, the computer has evolved and became more important as history has gone on in our lives. Today, I'm going to talk about where the computer has came from to the present and the different importances it has in our everyday life. Throughout history, different computers were invented by calculators and such. But in 1974, the first personal computer was invented and was sold for $400. Today, in 2012, the cheapest MacBook you can find runs for $1,199. Immediately, in 1974, after the first personal computer was invented, there was an immediate demand for small businesses trying to sell these computers. Tandy Corporations, also known as Radio Shack, introduced its first model of the personal computer in 1977. Later in 1977, Steve Jobs and Steven Wozniak came up with Apple Corporations. And in April of 1977, the Apple II computer came out, which included a full keyboard and color graphics and sold for $1,290. Also, this computer came with inexpensive disk programs, and Apple later became known as the fastest growing corporation in U.S. history and also the biggest corporation in U.S. history. Other, co other companies later joined the, the game of selling computers. In 1981, IBM came out with their first personal computer, and had, but it had old technology compared to Apple's computers. But IBM coming out with their own personal computer showed the world that the computer is not a fluke and that it proved to be vital in everyone's lives. In 2006, Apple came out with the MacBook, MacBook Pro, which had Intel Core 2 dual processors, Safari Internet, a webcam, and every Microsoft Office application. Now that I've told you a little about where the computer has come from to today, I will now tell you about the different benefits it has in our everyday lives. The computer has many ben benefits in our school lives, business, business lives, and our personal lives. I remember in grade school playing math games on the computer, and it was an easy and fun way to learn for me. Allowing young kids to play and learn on the computer is very vital with them growing up. It teaches them a fun and easy way to learn, and also the basic knowledge to operate a computer. A bivariate analysis showed positive correlation to the use, students' use of computers to their success in what they do. Small, having a computer in a small or large business is 100% vital if you want a successful business. Communication between different employees, uh, data storage are huge factors in running a good business. Emailing clients and different employees, sending and saving work that you do from home, and at work seem to be very important in running a successful business. Calculating spreadsheets, profit percentages, and such also can be done on a computer and save multiple amounts of time. Also, instead of having lots of filing cabinets and storing files in them, you can store your files on the computer and save a lot of room and the chance of, some, and the chance of an employee or someone else losing them. Having a computer in your home is also very important. Most kids these days have social networks like Twitter or Facebook that they communicate with their friends and distant families. Also, bringing home schoolwork can be tough, but if you use your computer, it could help aid you in the assignments. In conclusion, I've told you many reasons why the computer is very important to all of us in our everyday aspects of our lives. Just like I said before, back in the day when the Army had the giant computers to now, us being able to carry around portable laptops seems to be a big feat in history. I spoke about where the computer has came from and the different importances that it has in our life. And our generation has computers accessible all, all around them. I now hope you will understand that the technology has changed and that hope you can take advantage of the resources.